This one here is a much more of a uh, a question around the Rust ecosystem in general. I applaud. So Todd, by the way, so the, this one uh, came up in actually my in a course that I'm running called um, How to Learn Rust, and I'll just give people a a bit of a link. Um, I'm just typing now the uh, and one of his questions was like it strikes me that there is a lot of drama at the moment <laughs> and the drama is kind of terrifying for someone who is you know considering rust what should you do and the my short answer is that the drama or at least your perception of the drama um isn't as significant as you might think for people who are deciding to use the language <coughs> excuse me <coughs> uh and the reason why this is is because the governance structure of the rust project and the development of the language are being constrained essentially by interpersonal problems. The Rust community is significantly larger than it was when it was first established. And by implication, a lot of the people that started in Rust were, you know, and even in the Rust governance, were able to operate successfully in a much less comp in a much simpler environment um, these structures themselves will continue to increase or develop um, but this actually in my view doesn't actually impact your ability to kind of use the type system or use the rust compiler it does potentially you know it's not um a particularly pleasant environment if you are curious because if you search for rust now you'll probably get uh, a number of videos or you know some commentary which exaggerates the extent of the issue i know for example that the, the trademark issue that um uh and and if you're not familiar rust trademarks were um the Rust trademark, so the Rust logo itself, and the name Rust um, as for programming are owned by the Rust Foundation, at least within the United States. It turns out that that even though we live in on the internet, intellectual property is still restricted to national boundaries, so it's kind of a bit of a um, an interesting one there. Anyway, uh, for all intents and purposes, the Rust Foundation owns the rust trademark and the rights to use the rust trademark and one of the things that kind of caused a very significant rift in the community was that people such as myself uh, would no longer be able to just uh, so they the the project members or oh, the other thing is that there is a separation between people that work on the rust project the compiler and it's also the standard library and the, some of the associated tooling from the foundation itself now, what's interesting about the trademark issue was that the foundation looks like it was pushing out a draft proposal that would restrict people's ability to use the Rust trademark. And, uh, and by the way, I think this is a completely legitimate thing for them to do. So what they are trying to prevent is people selling courses who don't know Rust or who do, uh, who essentially proclaim that they are official or endorsed in some way without actually having any kind of endorsement or credibility now the uh the rust trademark issue was conflated or confused partially because of who was actually drafting the draft that it came from the rust project not you know you look into who actually created the the the, the, the draft it wasn't actually anyone within the foundation and yet lots of the foundation staff members 
have actually sustained huge amount of abuse, which I find particularly irritating and like really devastating that uh, that essentially the Rust community has kind of disintegrated into like piranhas or <laughs> or like it's just it's just we're just feeding the trolls at this point and i don't think that that's particularly useful i'm curious as to any if if anyone uh has any feedback on my response there by the way <laughs>